all right fine i got a question i got a question from one of our viewers from one of our interesting viewers and he asked the question not miss mary what makes a sperm strong what will they see for them to say oh this man will be able to impregnate a lady this man's sperm is strong enough or this man's sperm is not strong enough this man's sperm will not be able to do anything how do they know this good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is messy mary popularly known as the nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be sharing with you three things that makes a sperm strong three things that the semen analysis look at for you there to say oh this is good your sperm is good your sperm count is good this is good the, you can actually fertilize a, 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 a woman you are good to go or they will say oh there's something wrong with the sperm so i'm going to be sharing three things they take into consideration before they make this confirmation but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all our returning subscribers this is not miss mary saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be sharing with you three things that makes a sperm strong three things that your semen analysis is analyzing that makes them to say oh you have issues you don't have issues you're good you're not good you're felt that you're not felt that so the first one i have to share with you is the quantity the quantity of your sperm i believe a lot of men have heard about sperm count the quantity how many is your sperm is it very small so what after the test they expect your sperm count that's the quantity of the sperm to be 20 million sperm per one milliliter of semen so every milliliter of semen that has been ejaculated we are expecting to see at least 20 million sperm in it so if there is less than 15 million sperm in it we say that this man is having low sperm count i will call it oligosperma oligosperma so the first thing they actually check is what is the quantity of your sperm the quantity of your sperm they want to know if it is many if it is enough yeah so if you are having less than 15 million sperm per one milliliter of semen it is known as oligosperma so oligospermia stipri means this individual is having low sperm count and people with low sperm counts they have this difficulty able to pregnate a lady so they will have some things the doctor will tell you what and what to do on how to boost your sperm count then the second thing they usually check is the shape is a shape so heady sperm they usually have a head and a tail for those that have seen it you can see the picture showing so that is a heady sperm it usually have what a rounded head and a tail a long strong tail so at least 70 to 90 percent of your sperm should be normal not abnormal 70 to 90 percent of your sperm should be normal so if your sperm is having this particular shape that's a rounded head and a strong tail. Good, they can easily swim to where they are going, they can easily move to the egg joyfully. So, the first one I said is that they check the quantity, the second is the shape for it has to be healthy. The shape of your sperm 70 to 90 percent of your sperm should be healthy for them to say, Oh, in terms of the shape, this semen analysis looks good then the third thing they consider is the movement the movement so about 50 to 80 percent or more of your sperm need to be strong needs to be strong to swim to be able to get there because if they are not strong enough they don't move very fast they will be very weak and before they get to their destination they are dead true or false so we are talking about 50 to 80 percent they should be a, they, they should be they should be good swimmers they should be good to when they're able to dive into the vagina and swim straight to the egg and fertilize that egg so whenever they say go for semen analysis they say okay let's check your sperm count let's do the semen analysis they are checking for three things when they are doing semen analysis majorly they are checking for the quantity they are checking for the shape and they are checking for the movement of your sperm so when these three things are intact they will tell you your semen analysis look good you can you can impregnate a lady 
you can impregnate it but when there are issues with the stains the movement is low the shape is unhealthy and also the quantity is low that can make it difficult for the man to actually impregnate a lady i know a lot of you will be saying um that's miss mary but we just need only one sperm to fertilize an egg yes you need only one sperm to fertilize an egg outside after all the millions that will be jubilating we need just one but the more your sperm the more the chances of you being able to pregnant a lady easily the more healthy your sperm is the more good shape you have the more good shape your sperm has the more they are able to move faster the increased likelihood of you being able to impregnate a lady so these three things actually is what they detect to know oh this mass sperm is strong enough to fertilize a an egg so for those that are having fertility issues don't just assume it's the woman's fault alone as a man try and go for semen analysis let's know okay you are not the problem you get let's know that you are not the problem they will not start looking for the solutions for others you get you don't just assume that you are felt that a man's um can be fertile last year but this year this man is no longer fertile so a lot of changes can take place i've had men but see during my time i used to fire down i used to make a lot of ladies get pregnant like i i know i have women that got pregnant for me and they aborted it it's something they are proud of imagine and when they get married their wife is unable to give birth they would think that it's not their fault it's their wife's fault which is very very wrong so i encourage the men to go for a test and also the women to go for a test to balance this whole thing so we don't end up accusing blame on each other rather than what rather than solving the main issue of infertility so i hope this video help you understand what makes a sperm strong and capable of fertilizing that one beautiful egg so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a lovely friend if you got value for all our returning subscribers this is not smith mary this is not smith mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video bye